photographs and slides and negatives deteriorate over time. They fade, get damaged, mouldy, scratched, become bent and of course they get lost. On the other hand, digital images do not deteriorate as they are copied and reproduced. In order to convert photos, slides and negatives into digital format, you need a computer and a scanner. The first thing to do is to place the photo on the scanner glass face down. Close the lid and on the computer open up Photoshop. Go to the file menu and select import Epsom Twain 5. This invokes the Epson Twin program and the first thing this does is to do a preview scan of the full screen plate. We can then, using the cursor, just select the photo that needs scanning by dragging a box around the photo. The next stage is to alter any settings. This involves choosing document source as flatbed which is necessary for photo scanning. Image type to colour photo and finally the resolution we would like to use. Remembering that the bigger the resolution the better quality of the scan but at the expense of a larger file size and a longer scan time. A good rule of thumb is to choose a minimum of 300 dpi. When we are happy with all the settings, we can then choose to scan the photo by clicking on the scan button. Once the scan is complete, we can then save the photo onto the computer. The process of scanning a negative into the scanner is similar to scanning a photo. The difference being that you need to use the slide sorter that comes with the scanner. Place the negative strip into the sorter and place the sorter onto the glass of the scanner. In order to scan negatives, we have to remove the white reflective mat that is needed for photo scans. This is easily done by pulling the mat upwards and lifting off. We can then close the lid of the scanner and go back to Photoshop on the computer. After the initial preview, we can then alter the settings to color negative film Colour photo and finally resolution. Because a slide is much smaller than a photo, the resolution needs to be set much higher. Try at least 1600 dpi. Once the scanner has previewed our negatives, we can then choose which negative to scan and click on the scan button. We can then close down the scanner software and be left with our finished scan in Photoshop to be saved in a similar fashion as the photo we did earlier. The scanning of 35mm slides is almost identical to that of negatives. The only difference being that you place the slide in a different place on the slide sorter. And the positive film option is chosen in the document source settings. We can then select preview after which a full scan can be chosen to leave us with a digital copy of our slide. We can then save as we did earlier with our photo and our negative.